Thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner and I'm going to go ahead and share the results mining on my RTX 2080. So let's check this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the hash rates and the different overclock and power draw I use mining. Now I will have all the stats below. So if you just want to check that out, it'll be in the description. Now what I'm going to do first is show you the general hash rates, but I'll be more detailed at the end. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now here are the stock settings mining on NiceHash on the RTX 2080. Now go ahead and pause this video if you want to see this in more details. Now my computer at idle, it does consume about 40 watts. And as you can see, this is my test bench. Now adjusting the settings and increasing the power limit on Lyra, I was able to average around 84.1 mega hashes, consuming around 270 watts. Now adjusting the power limit to 70, I was averaging around 75.6 mega hashes, but I was only consuming around 196 watts. Okay, so switching up to Ravencoin and changing the miner to Z enemy and mining on ravenminer.com, I was able to get around 28 mega hashes and I was consuming around 260 watts at 100 power limit. And you can, of course, see the stats here in more details. But of course, it does range from 22 to around 31 mega hashes. Now, dropping the power limit to 70, I was averaging around 24 mega hashes, but I was only consuming around 198 watts. And of course, you can see this in more details. All right, so for Ethereum, setting the power limit at 70 and boosting the memory to 950, I was averaging around 41 mega hashes, consuming around 195 watts. I do want to mention setting the power limit at 100, I was still averaging around 41 mega hashes. Now for Ethereum mining, just be aware these programs are not fully optimized for the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti. So down the road, these numbers should definitely be a lot better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over these stats in more details. Now just be aware these stats are under 24 hour testing, so just please take these stats as an estimate. Now these are the nice hash stats on stock settings, but as a miner you do want to tweak your settings and be the most efficient. So my computer at idle does consume around 40 watts. Mining Lyra 2, tweaking the miner settings power limit at 100, core plus 55, intensity at 24. I was averaging around 84.1 mega hashes, consuming around 270 watts. So my GPU itself was only consuming around 230 watts, and I was getting around 0.3657 mega hashes per watt. Changing the power limit at 70, I was averaging around 75.6 mega hashes at 196 watts. My GPU itself was only consuming around 156 watts. So I did lose 8.5 mega hashes, but I did also drop 74 watts. So my efficiency did increase by 0.1189. So I was getting around 0.4846 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so mining Ravencoin using Z Enemy Miner, mining on the pool ravenminer.com. At stock settings, power limit at 100, intensity at 21. I was ranging between 22 to 31 mega hashes. I was averaging around 28 mega hashes, consuming around 260 watts. So my GPU itself was only consuming around 220 watts. So I was getting around 0.1273 mega hashes per watt. Now dropping the power limit at 70, intensity at 21. I was ranging between 22 to 31 mega hashes as well, but I was averaging a lot lower. I was averaging around 24 mega hashes at 198 watts. So my GPU itself was only consuming around 158 watts. So I did lose around four mega hashes, but I did drop another 62 watts. So I was getting around 0.1519 mega hashes per watt. Now mining Ethereum, power limit at 70, memory at 950, I was averaging around 41 mega hashes, consuming around 195 watts. So the GPU itself was only consuming around 155 watts. So I was getting around 0.2645 mega hashes per watt. But like I mentioned, the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti's are not fully optimized. So down the road, these figures should be a lot higher. Okay, so that was just a quick overview mining on my RTX 2080. Now I'll actually be more detailed on each algo in later videos. And I'll actually do comparison videos of all my graphics cards, including the RTX 2080 Ti. So definitely check that out. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you'll catch me.